Hello guys, welcome back to the Java tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about threads and how they work. Uh, and I'm not going to talk about, you know, like uh, what are threads and you know the history and stuff like that, because I'm sure you're not interested in that. We're just interested in how they work. So uh, first of all, I'm just going to right-click this and create a new package. Ah, uh, no, I'm just going to create a new package. Uh, Java package uh, threads, and I'm just going to right-click it and we can create a new J frame. Now. For the purpose of this tutorial, in, in in order to show you how threads work, I'm just gonna make a J frame, and then I'm gonna have a progress bar in it, and uh, and then I'm gonna create a new thread that would run in background, and that would basically, you know, um, update the progress bar every time it runs. Now, however, first of all, I'm just gonna click, drag two buttons to show why threads are important and why you should use them. Uh, I'm just gonna. I've dragged two buttons. If you click button one, it would run something without using threads, and if you click button two, it would run something with, I mean, by using threads. Now, basically, now we don't have anything, you know, anything processor intensive to do. So, what I'm going to do in here is I'm just, just going to have a for loop i equal zero, i less than. <coughs> hundred i plus plus and I'm just gonna say okay let me have another method private uh, public sorry public wide update progress and in this one we're gonna have j progress bar dot set value value and if you're wondering why am I having value here I'm just gonna put value in here because I forgot last time well, yes, and this is going to call this method update progress i. So it's going to set the progress bar to the value of i. And next line, in the next line, I'm just going to have thread dot sleep. So it's going to put the thread to sleep for 15 milliseconds. And I need to try and catch. So statement with try and catch. And now I'm just going to run this. Uh, yeah. And if you click, if I click this, now this is jammed. I can't, I can't click this. I can't hover this. I mean, nothing works. And so, this is a bad thing when you're doing intensive processing because the user might panic. User might say, "Oh my God, nothing's working. Oh, I'm screwed." Well, we don't want that. So, in order to avoid that, we need to keep the program responsive while updating the progress as well because this just updates it to the end and not you know in the middle so I'm just gonna cl close this and I'm gonna implement the thread now now a thread runs in a uh, well a thread takes a runnable as its uh, components so uh, you need to create a runnable first now how do you create runnable well you, you, cre you create a class which implements the interface and and uh, thus it has a a method called run. This method gets called when you create a thread, and thread would run everything which is inside the method run in the runnable. So uh, let's just go ahead and create a class called uh, doer because uh, uh, this is going to do something. So doer. Now we need to implement the interface. So implements runnable. And for first of all, uh, uh, yeah, of course. Methods. Now, first of all, we need class constructor, uh, and I'm going to explain you why in a minute. Public uh, door, and yeah. Now, well, this is my way of working thread with threads. However, this might be different for different people. So I'm just going to explain you how I work with threads. I, uh, you need a context first of all. The context is the class that first created this particular uh, object so in this case we know that new JFrame is going to create the door we are going to take new JFrame uh, frame sorry context and in here new JFrame context and this dot context equals context so now this particular uh, runnable knows who who created it? In this case, the new JFrame. Now, in the run method, I'm just going to copy exactly the same code so that you would know that the effects of threads. I'm just going to copy this exact 
and uh, I can't access this directly. In order to access this, I need context. And that's why we use contexts. To access the GUI elements, like the progress bar or text box or anything like that, in order to update the progress, we need context. If you are not going to have anything like this, well, you may choose not to use context, but uh, I think it's better to use context because you must show the user that the thread is doing something. So, well, yeah. And uh, that that is it. That's exactly the same code that we just copied over. And, uh, well, yeah. Now we are going to create a thread. So I'm going to go and design double click J button 2. Yeah. And I'm just going to say here thread. No, first of all, I need to create the door object. So door D equals new door. And in this case, so since the J frame created it, it's going to have this. Then uh, you can have another thing called. Uh, uh, you need to have a thread now, so a thread t equals new thread, and the, and the thread class constructor takes the runnable, so uh, d. So the thread will run the run method inside the d. So, well, yeah, that's it. And now this is a very important step because most of the people, including me, I did, I used to do t dot one, and it used to have the same. I mean, it didn't work, uh, of course, because. When you do t dot run, it accesses the run method of the d object, uh, and uh, and it runs the things in the same thread. And we do not want that. We want t dot start. We want to start the thread. So t dot start. And uh, well, that's it. Uh, I think that is it. Yes, of course, it is it. I'm just going to run this now. And if you if you click here, uh, okay, let's click here. L look at that. Look at that beautiful progress bar. Oh my God. And if you click that, then everything gets jammed again, and nothing works properly, and blah 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 blah. The bad story. However, when you do this, look at that. Look at that beautiful. Oh wow. So oh well, yeah. So that basically is threads. In the next tutorial, probably we're going to discuss something more about threads, and uh, uh, some sort of better ways to use threads and maybe like that. But that's next time. So till then, bye bye, and have a great one.